Madam Speaker. What's the point of order, Honourable Stenazen? I wish to bring to your attention that the Minister is mis well, the previous Speaker is misleading this House dramatically. You would know that in terms of Section 92 of the Constitution, that Ministers are accountable to Parliament, collectively and individually. There's nothing that happens in Cabinet for which they're not accountable to this House for. And he needs to ensure that that Minister there responds to the questions that are answered. These were not allegations in a newspaper. It was a statement issued by that minister under the cover of darkness, which has plunged our banking sector into crisis. He must answer. Uh, Honorable the Minister. No, thanks, Honorable Speaker. Let me, let me agree with um, Honorable Mr. Khatebe on what he has said. As I've said it earlier on, I will repeat it. That according to the separation of powers, this matter belongs to cabinet. I have clearly indicated that on the said evening of Friday, um, which uh, Honorable uh, Mayneer seems to be problematizing, the issue of judicial inquiry can only be decided upon by the president. That's what I said. Thank you. The Honorable Force. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And so will the minister tell us why he issued this controversial statement and why he believed this controversial statement reflected the views of cabinet? As easy as that. The Honorable the Minister. As I've said, it before, Honourable Speaker, that all what I have said on that particular Friday, I want to repeat it here for those who watched me when I was on TV, that the issues discussed in a cabinet cannot be of public consumption currently. The issue of the judicial uh, inquiry will be decided by the president, and I, I do stand by that. Madam, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Stian is in. Madam Speaker, the Constitution is very clear. Section 92.3, members of the cabinet must A, act in accordance with the Constitution, and B, here most importantly, provide Parliament with full and regular reports concerning matters under their control. The minister issued a statement under his own hand into the public arena. It wasn't some cabinet discussion. It was something Honorable he wrote. Honorable you, you, you have not been given an opportunity for a supplementary question. I'm not question. putting a supplementary so question. So I am now requesting you to allow the next person for a supplementary he, question Speaker, he, because you are now pursuing He an has argument. not answered the question. He is entitled to account to this House. You're letting him Thank get you, Honourable Steen for Are you what you're trampling, you are you're trampling the Constitution again. Thank Every you, time Honourable. you go to court, you get it handed to you there, precisely because you don't listen and you think that this Constitution Honourable is beneath Steen you. Eisen, you're a disgrace as a Speaker. May I appeal to you're you You're a disgrace as a Speaker. And you can call the Parliamentary the Protection... Honourable C. You can call the Parliamentary Order. Protection Services. The you are Honourable an embarrassment C. to this House. You're more of an embarrassment than that Minister. The Honourable Singh, you have an opportunity